These images are heartbreaking. Fort Myers Beach Plaza flattened by Ian. Sanibel Causeway nearly completely destroyed. These images don't even scratch the surface. The devastation can be felt from coast to coast. From heavy rain to storm surge to powerful winds, leaving many still without power. As of 6 a.m., there are about 1.9 million people, our customers, without power. Uh, right now, the hardest hit areas are, Char are Hardy, 99% without power as of this morning. Charlotte and Lee both have 85% without, it, and DeSoto is at 80%. Rescue personnel have gone to more than 3,000 homes in the hardest hit areas, providing shelter to displaced residents. There are over a thousand dedicated rescue personnel who are going up and down the coastline. After barreling down in Florida, Ian is now bearing down in the Carolinas. Crews were out in full force to prepare for the impacts. The storm made landfall just after 2 p.m. with maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Preparations for rescue and recovery already in place. We're already seeing the impacts of the storm in South Carolina as I speak and in Georgia as well. The recovery efforts are not just provided on the ground. NOAA partnered with FEMA for the National Geodetic Survey. It's a key tool with an aerial view and is used for assessing storm damage. The imagery provides a cost-effective way to better understand the destruction to both property and the environment, and it's also available to the public. Overwhelmingly, it's just been the, the impact to the residents of Florida that we're seeing this, the, the structures um, uh, that are not there anymore. For our purposes, we're going to look at for the impacts on navigation, the marine debris, uh, hazmat cleanup, and coastal zone management decisions, right? How do we make the, after this, how can we be more resilient to resist storms in the future?